and I'll welcome to an overview of the procedural train tools. This train itself will be generated based on a pattern you will give it. And special here is we will automatically also create a rake for this. So once we generate our train, it will automatically output a rake system for this as well. And so in the first video, we will create this pattern system. We will quickly start by making a digital asset. And in here, we can then fill in certain patterns. So these patterns tell how the train models should behave. So we will have a modular asset and each asset presents a certain part of the pattern. So we can build as many patterns as we want to make a really nice train. Then the next part will be actually cleaning up the system a bit more. So we have everything working, but we still need to rearrange a couple things here and there to make sure we have a good looking train as end result. Then in a the third part, this is where we're going to create this rigging system. So we're going to use something which is called skin effects in Houdini, which is the procedural system for rigging and animation. If you're really newer to GinFX, you might find the cool things here and there to learn from. They will, it will be on a beginner level, showing you how to create a very basic rig and to assign it to the train model so we can actually move and animate this train with an automatically created rig. In the last part, I will just quickly take what we have, the train with the rig, and open this in Unreal. So we're just going to export an FBX file. This can then be opened, like I said, in Unreal. Or you can open this in other software as well, of course. So I hope you're interested to following these videos and thank you for watching.